Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to solve exponential equations. We go through these three examples together, so let's start with the first one. 2 to the power of x equals 8. This is an exponential equation because our x is part of this exponent here. This is not the same as something like 2 times x equals 8. This would be a completely different equation. Here we really have 2 to the power of x equals 8. And to be able to get this x out of this exponent so that we can solve this equation for x, we need a tool for that and that tool will be the logarithm. So the logarithm will always help us to get something or our x out of the exponent. So we will apply the logarithm written as log on both sides of the equation. The thing is that there are different bases to my logarithm. So I can take log base 2 for example or log base 3 or log base 4 or log base 100. I can take any number as a base but and no number would be wrong. You can really take any base, but there are some bases that are easier than others. So in our example here, I would recommend to take the base that you also have here as a base. So we have two as a base for our to the power of x. So we take the two as a base for our logarithm as well. So let's apply log base 2 on both sides of the equation and see what happens. So we have log base 2 of the entire left side. So 2 to the power of x comes in here. And on the other side we have to do the same. So log base 2 of the entire right side. So this is just the 8. Now, yeah, I have to admit the equation looks way more complicated than it looked before, but it is actually easier. Because if we take a look at our left side, we wanted to get our x out of the exponent, right? That was our goal. And we did that now, although you can't see it yet, but because this base here and this base here are the same, these two cancel out, so to say, and the only thing that is left is the x on the left side. I will give you an explanation why that is in the next example, but for now we can just uh, remember from now on that every time your base and your base in here of this exponential expression is the same number, you can leave these things out and only take your exponent, so only the exponent will be left. On the other side, we have log base 2 of 8. What is this now? This is just a number because we only have numbers in here, right? The difference to this side was that we had an x in here, but this is something you can just put in your calculator and get the result. So log base 2 of 8. Some people have this base uh, as a button. So some people have something like log base y of x, such a uh, button on your calculator. If you have that, use it to calculate this. But some people don't. So some people don't have this base button. The only button they have is log. So that is the only button they have, but we can use that as well. So to calculate this expression, you can always do the following. You take your log button on your calculator and take log of the number inside here, so of the 8, and then you divide it by your log button, so log of your base, so log of 2. And if you calculate this, then you get a result of 3. So it's a nice result for all of these calculations in between. But we could also um, check our result if it is true what we did here. So 2 to the power of 3, they say that this equals 8. Is this true? 
Yes, it is. Because 2 to the power of 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. So you take your base and multiply it by itself three times. So you have 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8. So this is true. Let's see our second example. Here, 2 times 4 to the power of x equals 32. It's similar to what we had in our first example, but here, this time, we have this multiplication here. So with the other example, we only had this exponential expression on the left side, but now we have this two times here. But it's, it's an equation. We can get rid of this two times by just dividing both sides of the equation by this two. So if we do it, this cancels out here and only our four to the power of x is left. And on the other side, 32 over 2 equals 16. Now, this expression has exactly the same structure as we had in our first example. We have 4 to the power of x on the left side, and on the other side, we only have a number. So to be able to get x out of this exponent, we use our tool. We use the logarithm on both sides of the equation. The question is log base what? Well, this time we have base 4 here, so we take log base 4 on both sides of the equation. So on the left side, we have log base 4 of the entire left side of 4 to the power of x. And the same on the other side, we take log base 4 of the entire right side, so of 16. It is super important that you take the same bases on both sides. So you are not allowed to take base 4 here and base 5 here because you would like it more. So if you choose to take base 4, you have to do it on both sides of the equation. But now we have the same base for our logarithm that we have as a base inside the log again. So we know that these two cancel out, so to say, and only our exponent is left, only our x is left. But I promised you that I will give you an explanation why that is. So the explanation uses a rule that we have for our logarithm. Every time you have an exponential expression inside your logarithm, you have an exponent there, you are allowed to move this exponent in front of your logarithm. So we are allowed, you're always allowed, to take your exponent, so your x in this case, and then multiply it by the rest, by log base 4 of, the only thing that is in here is the 4, then because we move the x in front of our logarithm. Okay, this is what we have on the left side then, and the right side, well, this is just a number. It's log base 4 of 16. We can use the calculator to find the result of this. So either you have a calculator that can handle this base, or we know that we take our log button and take log of 16 first and divide it by this log button we have on our calculator of the base, so of 4. If we calculate this, we get a result of 2. Okay, now, why is this only x on the left side then? What happens to this expression here? You can also type this into your calculator if you want to. It's just a number. It's log base 4 of 4. But you will always get a result of 1. So if the number of the base and the number in your logarithm is the same number, the result is always going to be 1. So if you have log base 5 of 5, this is 1. If you have log base 10 of 10, this is 1. So that's always good to know. So we have a 1 here. So we have x times 1, which just equals x. And on the other side, we have the 2. So we have our result here. And let's take a look at the last example. We have our x in this exponent here, so it is an exponential equation, but this time this exponent looks more complicated, but we follow the same steps to solve an exponential equation. 
First of all, we want to make sure that we only have this exponential expression alone on one side. So this four times, we want to get rid of this. So we divide both sides of the equation by four, first of all. This cancels out then, and only our exponential expression is left on the left side. And here, 972 over 4 equals 243. Now we're ready to use the logarithm on both sides of the equation because we want to get x out of this exponent. Which base do we use for our log? Well, we have base 3 here, so we take log base 3 of the entire left side. Everything that was there needs to go in here. And then the same on the other side, log base 3 of this number on the right side. Okay, we apply the rule. We just got to know that if we have this exponential expression in our logarithm, we are allowed to move the exponent in front of our log. So the entire exponent, so this 2x plus 1, I write it in parentheses because I multiply this whole exponent now by the rest. So by log base 3 of, the only thing that's left in here is the 3 because we move this exponent here in front. And on the other side, uh, yeah, let's calculate this. So if you put it in the calculator, we have, what do we have with our log button? Log of the number in our logarithm, so 243 over, then we take the log button of the base, so of 3. If you calculate this, you get a result of 5. Now I wrote down this equation here, and we want to solve for x x is in here. We have another log expression in here. What is log base 3 of 3? If the base is the same as the th number inside my log, we now know that this is just 1. So we have these parentheses times 1, which is just this 2x plus 1 then. And on the other side we have our 5, so we have an easy equation to solve for x now. We want to get rid of the plus 1, so we subtract 1 on both sides of the equation. Then only 2x is left, because this cancels out. And here we have 5 minus 1 equals 4. To solve for x, we divide both sides by the 2. Here, this cancels out. Only our x is left, and 4 over 2 equals 2. And this is our result. I hope you know now how to work with exponential equations and logarithms. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!